Chapter 4 The Outsiders New Orleans Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this New World Eat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know. But you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over, and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! <laughs> Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Oh, we are here. Uh, what a nice change of scenery after what we just went through in the asylum. Can we talk with people in here? Let's go visit the nymph. Hello. Where you at, gentlemen? Here to enjoy yourselves? Damn yeah, right. Go on, don't be shy. We have something for everyone. Oh, we still don't get in. Well, I guess that's how it is then. Mm. Oh, can read it. Nymph of Louisiana. Oh, I love these flowers. This boat is so beautiful. Oh. Everything looks so nice. Oh. <laughs> I will never stop gashing out of sheer joy when I Oh, is that a doggy? When when I uh, when I'm walking through places in this game. Fine gemstone auction sale. Unique deep black opals. Backing house of E.W. Gray. This is what we were looking for. Hello, puppy. Oh, you're such a cutie. We cannot go in and we cannot knock the door. Okay. Should we talk with Watson still before we go any further? Let's try. Ah, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind. I'll handle it. You go on ahead. Okay. I'm wondering where I should go, but let's take a look at our things. Let's pin our evidence. And we already read this text, so... Uh, now we need to make some deductions. Maybe we cannot do them yet, but I'm going to check out if we can do this at some point. Who is the jewel seller A? One beige note. Two green nodes. No, we cannot do this yet. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. Wow, this place is so beautiful. Harbor Master's office. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You're a good sort. I'll help you. Listen closely. Banking House of E.W. Gray. The bank can be found on the street up from the port on the left side of the Harbour Master building, opposite Chinatown. Street up from the port on the left side. <laughs> Harbour Master, left side of... Yeah, this is the Harbour Master's office. Let's read this quickly before we proceed. Look for missing Sun Tao. 34 last seen in Chinatown. Wait, these are all missing people. Oh no. Yeah. Last seen in Chinatown, New Orleans Sheriff's Department. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. Oh, we're gonna be here only one day. Okay. 
More people missing here, too. Yeah. So I'm assuming we might have to uh, take part, or we get to take part in that auction at some point. Oh, hello, horsey. You are such a pretty creature. Okay, let's let's <coughs> continue our journey. I want to pet all the animals. Um, on the left side. Well, I'm going to explore all the places anyway. This is New Orleans Union Station. So if we are not going to the right direction, do not worry. I just I'm going to enjoy everything I see in here and try to explore as much as I can because this place is lovely. Oh wow. Everything is so beautiful. What is this? New Orleans Police Department. No trespassing under penalty of law. Okay. Um, it's quarter to five. Okay. Pawn shop. Can we enter it? Can we go in? No. And there is some kind of side alley, and I bet our road is blocked. Yeah. Road closed, no trespassing. Can we talk with these people oh, here? May I ask for your assistance? Don't be angry with me, sir. I don't know. Okay. Why would I be angry with you for not knowing something that I'm trying to find out? I will not do that to you. Could you help me? Sorry, mister. Can't help you. Ask someone else. Okay. Could you help me? Sorry, mister. I can't help you. Ask someone else. I'm not even sure if they can give us additional information about the situation or the leads we have found so far, but I'm just gonna check out all the places. Oh, that's nice. Kids have been playing in here. Hello, cat. You're such a cutie. And another cat. <laughs> each time, <laughs> each time I hear someone mimicking <laughs> uh, languages. Like no 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 it 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 just sounds so weird. Creole quarter. Okay. Is this familiar to you? No, first I've heard of it. Oh, uh, I wonder if Sherlock is actually Giddy Gator Bar. Oh, it's a bar. Let's go. Oh, but there's we cannot really enter. Oh. At least not yet. I think I actually asked about the wrong clue and went into entirely wrong place, but I'm not gonna worry about that because we are just checking out all the places and enjoying the scenery so we see in here. Wow. Oh, and this looks a, like a very different place compared to the houses we visited last time. I'm not going to go there yet. I actually probably should use the map to, in order to travel. So Harbour Master's office, that was where we were supposed to go. Let's go there first. Ah. Uh, left from harbor master's office so somewhere over here technically i guess we went by it before but 
just didn't notice. Banking House of E. W. Gray. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Definitely, yes. We we are Frank Barnaby. Squints, myopia. Okay. Come on, let me do my deduction work. Something in the pocket. Sandwich. Okay. What else? What am I missing? Oh, there's something in here. Hidden tabloid newspaper. Ape Lincoln alive. Okay, the god at the bank is a real character, storing a sandwich in his pocket while reading Abe Lincoln Alive. Makes the god a paranoid fool with bad taste. Besides, the man has myopia. But this is the paranoid fool option. Then we got the critical thinker. The god at the bank is a real character. I remember this we read already. Um, while reading... Abe Lincoln alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is a result of constant reading to the detriment of one's health. Let's try this. I don't know if it's the right thing. But... I mean, this person looks like a reader. They could just be standing there and... I don't know, talking with people, but, but instead they chose to read their book. Let's try if they will believe that we are Frank Barnaby. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Damn. Okay, so we're gonna be needing an invitation. Post auction, Over gems here. sold. Hmm, By invitation only. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby will be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Okay. And where can we find Mr. Frank Parnaby? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was that. Let's pin this evidence. And now let's ask around. Do you know Frank Parnaby? No? Nothing? How marvelous, Holmes. Help me, please. A city within a city. I've heard Indeed. Oh, sorry. Many conversations happening at the same time. Uh, Mr. Frank Barnaby. The locals say that he owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Those lanterns are delightful. Oh, sorry. It's as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Yeah, they are delightful indeed. Um... Uh, Barnaby's hidden gems, so we need to find that place from here. Let's keep our eyes open. I have no idea if this is the right direction. But we'll find that out soon, hopefully. Gun store. Maybe it's in the... In, in this side alley? Is it this one? Barnaby's hidden gems. Locked. No one's here. Well, what are we gonna do now? Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Indeed. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Oh. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. Mr. Frank Barnaby. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. 
He is a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator. Oh, we ran into that already. Good. In the Creole Quarter, he can be recognized by a yellow hat and green jacket. Okay. And where on earth was that bar? Was it... This is a maze. Where was it? Where was the bar? For the life of me, I can't remember. Creole Quarter. So we went through here last time. I can't believe it. And I, I hope it's here somewhere. I think we went through here and it might have been... This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Kitty Gator Ball. Oh, Gabriel. Yeah, well. Well, this is the bar. I guess. But we cannot really enter. Oh, that's a yellow hat and a green jacket. Great. Barnaby, unconscious, but with his eyes open. Okay. Let's take the invitation. Is this the one? Invitation to the auction. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E.W. Gray, invites you to participate in a close auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. <laughs> One more unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Should we take the jacket and the hat? I mean, we could return them later, right? Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Eureka! What have you got? Ouch. An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Let's take them. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. <laughs> the hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, <gasps> didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Watson looks amazing. That's great. You look great, Watson. The guard has myopia, you'll walk right through. Let's go! This is gonna be so much fun. Uh, was this the direction we came through? Probably not. Let's fast travel. Well, our fast travel would take us here, so... Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? Oh, damn! I never thought of that. This jacket and hat might be so recognizable that Watson might get in trouble. Where's the money, Barnaby? Coming soon. I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Sure. Mr. Barnaby. Yes, in uh, the flesh. Right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? You seem to have the jumps. Fine. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Just fine. Uh, come on in. Oh, <gasps> we got this. We can do this. Heavens, I've never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. The bank holds an auction. The banking house of E.W. Gray will be hosting a closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones. However, the bank clerk, Mrs. Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. Black Opal, origin Australia, weight 40 carats. Rarest stone, believed to be a piece of a shattered space rock that fell to Earth. Okay. Oh, there's something over there. 
This might be useful. I'll make a note. Plague with philanthropists. The banking house of E.W. Gray thanks its fine philan philanthropists. And then we have a long list of names. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some <laughs> questions, if you don't mind. You got this, Watson. About the previous owner, or what's special about these stones? Let's be critical thinkers and ask this first. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Previous owner? Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. Could the gems be stolen? Wow, that's a very straightforward question. Let's... Ask it. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity? Ha! <laughs> what have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? <gasps> Observe. Large wool hat, oversized. Sheriff Grub, position of power. Golden revolver champion, proud or poser. Luxurious textile cares for appearance. Polished nails, fashionable or hates getting dirty. Sh uh, toothless dog. Sheriff Grub is actually a barking toothless dog. The man attempts to make the impression that he is an important figure. In the life of New Orleans, however, he is just a small cog in the governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with his role that he tries to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks and threatening behavior. Okay, fashionable menace. That sounds like a fun option. <laughs> Sheriff Grubb is the law in New Orleans. He's fairly eccentric, looking after his nails, appearance and image. However, it is just a cover for his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community who uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. I do like the fashionable menace. It sounds much better than toothless dog. Of course I know you, Sheriff. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Oh. Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, 
I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning. Doctor. <gasps> Damn. Three evidences updated. It might be time for us to go away from this place. I think so, at least. Let's go outside. Let's talk with Sherlock. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah. All that matters is what you learned about the gems. <laughs> I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. Okay, back to the boat. Let's do that. Maybe we might be able to do it this way fastest. Oh, actually, I probably don't do not need to go there because oh, I can't. Okay. Let's get back to the boat. The boat was over there. Let's run. That combination of green jackets and yellow hat is so wonderful in our Watson. I appreciate it. A pox on the crew. What are we supposed to be doing? You know, I think the look actually compliments you. <laughs> Why bother changing it? Wow. Can we talk with this person? No. No! Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it back in order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything in here? Oh, those are clothes. Oh, bollocks. Now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. <laughs> but where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nympha Louisiana <gasps> and I'll sort you something to wear. Yes! Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. <laughs> Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. Let's go. Can we talk with you? Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Welcome home. Okay, so Mr. Barnaby is a regular here. Oh, what a beautiful carpet. Oh, this is such a nice looking place. What was it, room six? Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. 
She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. Always. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna end my episode here. Now we got our Watson here with his normal clothes and let's continue our game soon.